Okay, I'm going to use QuickBooks Online to invoice customers using the billable expenses feature. So let's begin. Let me go ahead and create a customer. All right, and then here we'll just just make up Corpus Christi. Okay, I'll hit uh, save here. All right, now my new customer, Corpus Christi, is going to have an invoice. And when we create an invoice, what I would like to do is I would like to be able to see all of my billable expenses that I've occurred in the past, just be able to click and add them off to the side here. So to do that, let me leave here. Let me go tag some airline tickets to them. I'm gonna to go to the bank feeds. Right, and I'm gonna go look for Southwest. Okay, so we'll say this one right here, and we can go up here to billable. And I'll show you in a second if you don't see billable how you how you have to have that feature turned on. And then from here, just search for the Corpus Christi. Okay, Southwest Airlines. All right. And um, the memo is very important here. So the memo that pulls in, this is what's going to come into the invoice. So I kind of like to make that make that look nice right there. Now, if, if I wanted to, I could also type in like the flight date. You know, maybe the flight date was 5-1-2024. Bought it on 322, but this this is assuming, you know, from San Antonio to New York City. Yeah, let's imagine that's the case, okay? So then we'll hit OK or Add. All right. Now another option that we have. Oh, let me let me just go quickly and show how to turn on billable expenses. So go to the gear icon. We need to go to Account and Settings. And then here we'll go to expenses. Okay. And then right here, make items, expenses items billable. So that's normally off. You got to turn it on. And um, I generally don't fool with the making a markup, but some of you might want to make the default markup. And that's, that's it for right here. Okay. So we hit okay. All right, so <clears throat> now let's go ahead and click on insert, invoice. As soon as you type your customer, okay, over on the right hand side should pick up on the suggested transactions. So here, here we have it. And I'm just gonna click add. Awesome. So notice it comes in without a product or service. So that's okay. You, you just want to do that. Notice it has the amount that we spent earlier. Um, bonus, if you had attached a receipt, then it would show up in the receipts and you would have the ability to check a box that says include an email. So that's, that's really cool. Really cool. Okay. So I'm going to hit save here. And uh, let's go back and do just do a couple more transactions here. So X out of here. I'm gonna go find this quality in here. Add a quick vendor. Lodging. I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay, quality in. All right. So let me add an attachment real quick here. Okay, so I've attached it, need a billable. Corpus, oops, wrong section. Need to be in the customers. Okay. All right, 
Next, uh, return back to the invoice. We can get to it from the magnifying glass since we just did it. Okay, so we're, we are gonna look at now as suggestions on the right. Suggested transactions. Here's that quality in, I'm gonna click add. And that would come in and then notice over here, attached to email, this receipt here. So you could have a whole bunch of receipts there, a whole bunch of transactions here. And that is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right. So I hope that was very helpful um, to you guys, and thanks for watching.